Okay, I'm starting the video again after uh, after the new year. It's uh, 2019 now, and uh, unfortunately, I had some uh, medical problems and had to deal with that. But I'm back in the garage again and uh, can't shoot some videos. Um, so uh, this is kind of a part of my uh, calibration at home for the uh, poor man. Um, we talked a lot about voltage and uh, current and frequency and things like that and resistance and uh, all those things. Um, we didn't talk about capacitance, so I've got a really nice capacitance meter. Uh, you see me... Oh, that's not it. You've seen me use it be before. Uh, it's this one. This one here. Um, it'd be nice to know whether this thing is really accurate or not. It's got pretty good specs. I don't remember what the specs are, but you know, it's... Capacitors are kind of funny and inductors and all that stuff. It's probably a 1% meter or maybe maybe less than a 1% meter, but you know, not as good as they come um, without spending too much money. Um, but what about capacitance? You know, what you know, a lot of times uh, just a normal uh, normal meter has a capacitance thing on it. And it'd be kind of nice just to check to see if things are actually uh, actually working or not. So what type of Cal standards can we get for capacitors? And um, I don't really know. <laughs> um, I remember being interested in it a while ago, and I found uh, some capacitors. I found this capacitor, which was really cool. We'll take a look at that. And then later on, you know, a year later or so, I found these capacitors, which are very cool. And then for Christmas this year, um, I was poking around and I found these capacitors. So. We will take a look at all of these, and then we'll measure them and see, uh, and send, uh, and then uh, see how they do. So let me uh, put on a macro lens so we can uh, take a closer look at these. All right, let's take a look at this one first. It's a very odd, odd-looking capacitor. It's actually pretty large. Um, it's about um, forty millimeters by. 35 millimeters by uh, 10 millimeters. Um, it's also interesting is that it's uh, Russian, I believe. It definitely has some acrylic characters on it, and I believe it's from Russia. Um, and one of the most interesting things is it says 0.3%. So supposedly the uh, value of this it's plus or minus 0.3 percent, and it has some funny numbers on it. So 38470 nano phi. Um, so I think it's farad. Uh, so I think it's uh, 38,470 nano farads. So it'd be 38 micro uh, microfarads. Uh, so we'll see if that's true or not. Uh, so that's the first weird. It's in a sealed metal can, uh, solder sealed metal can. Don't know what kind of capacitor it is. Uh, if anybody knows, that'd be great. I would really like to know more about this thing. It's got glass standoffs. It's probably high voltage, but I'm not sure. Um, certainly was something made to be very accurate for some type of timing. So that's the first one that I came across on eBay. Um, very interesting. Uh, then I came across these three. Let me. Uh, Take them out of the package. I don't remember if they're all the same or not. Uh, I'll take a look. Oh dear. You can never find a little split in these Ziploc bags. Alright, there we go. So we have, uh, I'm focusing here, um, we have 100 and, my eyesight's never very good. 158 picofarads, uh, and this one says 0.5%, uh, so half a percent on this one, that's pretty good, that's, what was that, 158, and what does this say, this one says 100, ah, no, 180, so this is 158, this is 180 picofarads, 0.5%, and this one is 
325 picofarads at half a percent. Now these are also very, very bizarre uh, capacitors. I think I'll focus a little better here. Uh, maybe not. Shoot. Uh, just a second. Let me try to focus this camera. All right, that's a little better. Uh, these are very, very bizarre also. They, they also look like they might be Russian. I'm not sure. Um, they look like they're ceramic. Uh, so they have uh, two ceramic pieces and a split line soldered. They look like it's all silver soldered. Um, and then there's these uh, two ends. Uh, again, very, very bizarre. Very, very accurate. Uh, they also look high voltage. Um, so don't know about those. Measure those. And then the, the more recent ones that I just found on eBay were only 1% tolerance, but uh, I hadn't seen them before, so I had to have them. Uh, and these say point, uh, uh, point 0.5905, 50 volts, 1%. And these are both the same. Okay? So we can measure those. All right, so we have three groups of very bizarre capacitors, 0.3%, uh, half a percent, and one percent. So, pretty good Cal standards. Uh, the range isn't very good, you know, uh, picofarads to microfarads, um, but yeah, I don't even know what these are, the point, I don't know what, what, what the range is on this, point, point 0.59. So let's, um, let me rearrange the camera, we'll get some meters out and measure these things. All right, there we go. So I've got it set to um, capacitance, auto, and uh, we can try, let's, uh, let's try one of these new ones here, point, uh, point, point 0.59. So, there we go, point 0.59, excellent. And these are microfarads. So these are measuring point 0.598. And these say point 0.5905. Um, so 1% would be around point 0.6. Um, so it's... It's, this is measuring close to 1%, but uh, I don't know the accuracy of this cheap, cheap meter. Um, but we know these are microfarad, so that's good to know. Let's measure these weird picofarad ones. Uh, this one is supposed to be 158 picofarads. And picofarads are just not going to work on this meter, so forget that. And then we have this one, which is, I believe, 38 microfarads. Let's measure it. There we go, 30, uh, 38 nanofarads. Oh, interesting. Okay, there must be a comma in there that I didn't know. So, um, 38.7 nanofarads. And uh, this says 38.470 nanofarads. Um, so... If you believe the capacitor, then this meter is a bit out. So you could calculate the percentage. I don't need to do that. You could do that. Um, but let's change meters. Uh, let's, let's try something a little more um, accurate. Claims to be accurate. Uh, and that is this meter. Uh, the other meter is a um, uh, Unity uh, UT61E, um, which uh, is a nice meter. Um, it's got very good digits, nice and large. I did hack it. I've put an L L LED backlight in it. Um, you can see some people online who have done that. Um, let's see. Okay, let's look at this thing. Oops. All right. Um, this is the UT612, which is an LCR meter. And I think we will calibrate it. Um, so cal button here. We will push the cal button down and it says open so the two leads keep apart and we will say open and then we will press cal I think. Okay and so it's doing a, a calibration with an open circuit.
this pass. I believe we need to hit the cal button again. Now it says short SRT, so we will put the two leads together, hit the cal button. So complete open short. A bit cold in the garage, so it's good to calibrate it. I haven't used it for a while also. And we're trying to be accurate, so definitely if you can cal something, cal it. Pass. All right, so we should be able to use it now. It should automatically figure out what you're trying to do. And this is 38 nanofarads. There we go. It says 38.47 nanofarads, and this says 38.47 nanofarads. So these agree perfectly, perfectly, 0% error. Um, so, um, yeah, so I definitely believe that this is a really, really good 0.3% uh, point, point uh, capacitor because it's measuring spot on. Very impressive. All right, let's try this one, which was the uh, 0.59. And it says 0.598.8. And this says 0 0.5905. So this this actually agrees with the uh, cheap meter also. Um, so uh, one percent point. This says this, this capacitor is a little bit out of its one percent tolerance. Um, so not quite there. Maybe that's why they were on eBay. I don't know. But certainly close enough for most people. Same same number. So yeah, these are these are a little bit disappointing. Let's take a look at these other bizarre things. These were the pico picofarad range things. Uh, this one is the 158 picofarads. This is 1.59 picofarads, and these are half a percent. Uh, let's see, one percent would be 1.8. Uh, yeah, these are probably right close to 0.5 percent. Uh, let's check this one out. This is a 325 picofarad. Three two six, very nice. And this is the 180. And 181. So very good. So. If you kind of want a cheap poor man's calibration for capacitance, yeah, here's some ideas. Uh, uh, we have a range of around 100 picofarads to 38 nanofarads. Um, and uh, yeah, and I'm very impressed with this, uh, with this Russian job. Really nice to know what's inside this thing. All right, hope you enjoyed that.